got to look proper. Whatever I have it. Hey, I'm wearing my, ooh, look at that. I'm wearing my Steve Biko, got from Steve Biko Foundation shirt. Write what you like. Comes from a, his signature for his book. Write, I write what I like. That's it. I like that. In fact, uh, let's talk about what you what you can do. What, what, do what you like. Write what you like. Write what you like. Uh, there's been a report um, coming out of Hawaii, well, coming out of the states, uh, which is that. Um, uh, well, it says that right, right, there's there's a, there's a movie coming out. That, 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 Title supposedly is uh, Jesus is my homeboy. Jesus is my homeboy. It comes from this this mugging that happened. This guy got religious conversion, became a T-shirt, and they run around with that. But now they're gonna make make this film called Jesus is my homeboy. Okay, uh, it's gonna be uh, first up because of the that Ryan Coogler was involved. Uh, at first, I thought it was uh, you know one of his he's, he's gonna direct or whatever happened. Right here. That's that moringa tea. Moringa tea. Very good. It's pure moringa this time. I didn't mix it with anything. Well, not me. My wife makes it. She didn't mix it with anything. Hey, baby, this is pure moringa, right? Mm hmm Okay, there you go. Anyway, back to the point. Um, so, so, it's okay, fine. I'm, I'm not going to go anything with that. And then I find out that it's not being directed by Ryan Coogler. It's uh, being directed by this guy, uh, Shaka... What's his name? Shaka something, man. Uh, his first name is Shaka. Anyway, I'll, he'll come to me. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, Shaka King, Shaka King, I think his name is Shaka King. Um, um, so he's going to be, he's the writer-director, so naturally you have to look up what this writer-director is doing, right? And so he's got, the, 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 one the things of note in the I, IMDB um, database is that he did a thing called Newlyweeds, which is like a sound, it's a, it's a stoner film. And then he did a thing... Uh, what's it called? Not laser dicks. Oh, this did, he did this, this sort of like comedy thing, uh, uh, Mulligans, and basically it's black people acting like uh, Italians. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, it's very good. It's very good. But it's more of it's not really a film. I didn't see Newlyweeds, uh, but uh, this uh, to Mulligans is more like a, a, a skit than a than a than a film. You know? So okay, but you know you can handle a camera. You know, that, that handle actors. That's good. And then he did a thing called. Uh, it's just, uh, La laserism, La laserism, laser something. It's about you know you. It's about you take this laser and do it. You get rid of racism. Let's put it that way. And uh, uh, Lakeith uh, uh, La Stanford is in it. You know that's the guy from uh, uh, the opening scene from Get Out, and also um, he does uh, the film the, the the series Atlantis, and he did that thing. Um, uh, Sorry to bother you, something like that. I haven't seen that film. I have to see this. I don't. I can't. I'm sitting in South Africa. I don't see. I can't go to films a lot. The, the, the local the theater is like two hours away. Blah 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 blah. And when I say two hours, I mean two hours. Um, uh, so he did that. The, and doing that, he, that's where he, he, him and the Q Stanford hooks up. Now let me tell you about films. What happens is that when you start, you know, usually like you start, like say Spike Lee, he started out with a, with a cinematographer. His same Eric Dickinson. He was the same cinematographer for the first few films, um, and then uh, Eric goes on his own way. Make the, the, the that film with Tupac in it. You know, the classic uh, black film. Uh, and so, you know, you have these relationships, and then you always can go back to them, like, uh, like uh, you know, let people roll with their cinematographer and their editor for a while. Uh, and a lot of times you gather actors along on the way. Like, look, again, let's look at Spike. How many times has Samuel L. Jackson been one of his films? Same thing with Denzel, blah, blah, blah. You get people, you have relationships with them. And then it's easier to, to deal if you, somebody knows who you are like that. Okay. So so now we have the, now I'm going, oh, the Keith Sanford San and, and uh, this, this guy, um, uh, Shaka King uh, are hooked up. Okay, great. Now if you have if now you have Ryan Coogler in the mix as executive producer, that's what it is. Now producers, there's one that sort of get things together behind it. There's all kind. Of, every, when you have to see an executive producer list, you know, what I mean, it means that you know some people are doing certain things. You see, you know, some people might be doing certain things, and sometimes they they own the script right and they put it in as as the, giving you giving us script rights to your to your project. They get a you know a thing as the executive producer. You know, credits that can be. Executive producer is very, very important because those you get into the producers union. That's a whole other thing. Okay, so I see that, and so then it's announced that Daniel Kaluuya is is, is up for the role of, in this film. In this film, by the way, I haven't mentioned it. It's a biography, and it, there was a biography that uh, a documentary on Fred Hampton was being filmed as it was right around the time he he passed, or passed who got murdered. Um, uh, so anyway. Uh, so, so you look, you look. Okay, Tanya Kalua, 
then Kluwer, the guy from Get Out, you know, he's not a that. Believe me, Get Out was a great whatever, but he wasn't that great an actor in that. Believe me, that. And the same thing for Black Panther. He's in Black Panther. It was a nothing. But he, he wasn't uh, like that. Now I can see uh, maybe he got on a project where it was suggested by uh, by um, uh, Ryan Coogler. Somebody gets to Ryan Coogler and I say, "Yo, man, this ain't gonna happen. Not with this boy. Nah, no, 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 no. Daniel out. Anyway, back to the point. I I got off point for a second. And so you have a relationship now. Now, now, what concerned me when I first saw this thing, and I, and I said, "Wait a second, you know, I know because I like Ryan Coogler a lot, you know, um, and I know he was he had a, he was announced that he had a project uh, dealing with the Atlanta whole educational thing that happened with, with Atlanta the Atlanta school system, right? And he also hinted that he was going to do a, a film on Mansa Musa, who's the who's the rich African African uh, African guy. Uh, so I'm saying, oh, okay. So now I can see that maybe he's making friends with Danny Kluwer because he's going to be in that uh, Mansa Musa film because it's an African kind of thing. But to portray, to cast somebody like Danny who can't act, okay, who can't act very, very well and has nothing to do with, 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 with I, I guess everybody knows by now, with, with being an, an American, you know, uh, descendant of slave or slavery. You know, he, he, he's not in that thing. And, and for this kind of film, it, it's very important that you get someone who, who not only is going through the black experience, not the, not the black bourgeois experience even, he has to be going through that black revolutionary, you know, tip, uh, thing, you know, he has to go through, uh, I mean, this guy was organizing in the hood, when I'm in the hood, they even called the hood, it, it, with the gangs, Blackstone Rangers, you know? He was he was he was negotiate negotiate talking with the, the extreme white supremacists. Say, look, we, just like back, you know, before the whole race they they invented racy in the state. You know, black black the downtrodden black and white were getting together and getting to get against the, the masses. So he was doing the thing with them. Remember, Malcolm was doing the same thing, talking to the you know to the to the Ku Klux Klan or whatever it is. But let's leave that part. Up, I'm just trying to say there's a lot of things in that. You see, now you know from from what I understand. The last two films that this guy did, I'm talking about um, uh, Shaka King, are really comedies. You know what I mean? Comedies. They're almost like comedy sketches, too. Uh, there's a little bit more, more different, but it's, it's like comedy sketches. So we don't know if you're a full, you know, big screenwriter for something like this this project, you know? And uh, I, I just don't know. Uh, so I can't really kind of, but I can say that the person that's doing this film, because again, the, the reason why Daniel Clue is on the thing is because. Uh, 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 a, a black guy, you know, hired him after he begged for the role to get in to take a, 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 a deep, basically a DOS. It wasn't DOS. We didn't have DOS at the time. You know, American ADS. We didn't have it at the time. That kind of role. And that, that, that launched them. He built them. People start looking at him because then the agents start looking. The agents start hustling and the rest of stuff. So whoever's going to do Fred Hampton, they're going to get some notoriety and they might even get some legs, opportunities, wrong, wrong. Danny Clue is not the person for this. So I'm not lobbying against anybody, whatever have you, but I'm saying no, 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 no. And this is going to be almost one of them. That, it's going to be like a test for the American uh, um, descendant of slaves, descendant of slavery, to, to find out if we can say, no, yo, man, you can't be doing this stuff no more. No, you can't cast people, especially in our iconic roles. Think about it. You know, American DOS did not play Nina Simone in that picture with uh, Zoe did, did that picture, right? Uh, did, uh, did not play, you know, uh, Martin Luther King and well, you know what I'm talking about, and Selma and, and whatever, right? You see, they keep on casting people that this a sister going to, a sister, an African sister is going to be playing Harriet Tubman. That's an icon. How do you rip our icons off? I don't, I don't, don't, don't get me. Look, let me not get upset here. Let me, I'm T right Calm me down. Calm me down. Oh, help me. Help me. Okay. So look, I, I just have a request. Somebody, somebody in the Hollywood system, just talk to these folks. Say, look, the jig is up. You ain't, this ain't happening no more. You know what I mean? You, you can look and see who this, this is going to bring. You know, Danny Kluwer ain't going to bring no more box, box office in. This project is going to bring the box office in. You don't have, yeah, Ryan Coogler is going to bring this box office in. His name attached to the project. You don't understand what I'm saying. So, you know, in the spirit of uh, Steve Biko, you know, I should say he was more of a, yeah, yeah, in the spirit of B Steve Biko, no! I don't want to say, I'm going to bring Biko into this. D don't do it. That's all I'm saying. It's a message. 
uh, not even a plea, it's a, it's a demand from me, T from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect. Hollywood.